it is Jen with Mother Time and today we're going to have some fun making fall and Halloween gifts and gifts in a jar ideas. I'm going to start by making some custom boo bags for my kids. I love doing this for them every year, making custom bags for them. And I love to make these on my Cricut because I can just personalize them. And every time I open my design space and I see all of the different projects that I've worked on, it's just like a walk down memory lane, you know, because there's so many things that I've made for them and not just for them, but for Christmas, for birthdays, for all types of things that I can personalize. And that is why I love doing it. It is so easy, open and go, making these things and just taking something so simple and then just adding that personal touch is just, it's so, it means so much to me and it doesn't take that long to do too. So I got these bags actually at the end of the season last year and I thought these would be really cute to make some boo bags for my kids. So let's take a look. I haven't even opened them yet to see how cute they are. And then I'm going to personalize them and tuck in some goodies for them too. Oh my goodness, look at how cute these are. How cute. And then they got the drawstring with the buffalo check. Don't you love it? So cute. So originally I was going to actually add their names to the bottom, but I think I'm going to actually put it on the back too. And then I'm going to tuck in some goodies for them so I can give this to them. I always like to like do this like on like the beginning of October on a really nice fall day, give them to them. And then there's full of goodies and things too. So, but I think I'm actually going to put their names on the back. So then there's no whose candy bag is who, but it also just makes these personal. Now I've seen these similar bags. Um, at like home goods. You could even use a bucket too. I was even thinking about doing like on the little pals, but when they go trick or treating, they like the little bags too. So I thought these would be great little trick or treat bags too. So cute, right? And then you can put all your candy in them too. So anyways, I'm gonna go into my Cricut Design Space. I was already starting to play around. And that's what I love about Cricut Design Space. I can do it on my computer or I can even do it on the app on my phone, which is always gets me in trouble because I'll be like laying in bed at night, making little things, customizing things, names, so many different fun projects. And when I open my Cricut Design Space, like I said, it's just like a walk down memory lane. All of the projects that I've made for them, all the custom projects and all the things that I've made throughout the years I just love it and it just really means so much to me and then when I give that whether it's for my kids or a gift that I've made somebody um, it's just really it's really special and just adds that little special personal personalized touch so let me show you a couple of the fonts that I'm deciding on because that's always the thing that <laughs> takes me forever to decide is deciding on like what font I want to use because there's so many cool fonts in Cricut Design Space so let's head to my computer play around with some fonts and then make these really cute custom boo bags. Here I am in Cricut Design Space and I have my kids' names in here, Eden and Tyler, and a few of the fonts that I've picked out right now. I like the simplicity of this one for Eden, which is BFC Stylish Safari, which is cute, but there's some really cute Halloween ones. Like this is BFC Spider Webs. Look at the cute little spiders. There's so many, like if they were a little bit younger, I could really <laughs> have some fun with this um, because there's some really cute, um, just different fonts too that I was picking out. And that was my problem here that every time I could picked up a cute one. So there's like playful, new, decorative, vintage, stencil. I'm under playful, which just has some really cute playful ones. I love this autumn harvest one too. Look at how cute that is. So I've just been going through picking out some fonts and then seeing which one I like best for their bags. Look at how cute so many of these are. Here's another cute one with some spider webs. That's cute too. Let's see how cute this one is. That's cute too. I just want to see for, for Christmas. Look at how cute these are. Oh, how cute is that for Christmas? This one I love too. The Rustic Cherry. That's nice and simple too. Let's look at Santa's Helper, even though we're looking at fall. Oh, how pretty with like the little stars and the letters too. So many different ones that you can choose. This one is really cute too. I saw this one last night. Look at that <laughs> with the bat. Oh, this is where I can't decide of all of these cute ones to use. Oh, let's look at Scary Night. 
That's good. I, th I kind of like that one. I like that it's simple. As much as I love the spiders though too. Let's see how scary night looks like on Tyler's. I like that one. So I think that is the one that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do. But there are so many options. And that's just under the playful category. That is only the, under the playful category. Now that I have my font picked out, now I'm going to measure it and cut it out. I made their names a little bit bigger just for their bags. So now I'm going to click make. I'm going to save this one too. And I'm going to put Halloween 2024 and hit save. And now it is taking me to where I'm going to cut it out. I'm using my Cricut Joy Extra. I have the Explore too. I'm going to be doing it on my mat and I want to make sure that I also mirror it because I'm going to be putting it on the fabric. So I want to have the letters mirrored. So when I transfer it, the letters will be the right way. Then I just hit continue. And it's picking up the Bluetooth. I'm using my Smart Iron-On. And I love the reminder. It says make sure mirror is turned on and iron-on material is face shiny side down. I love that little reminder too. And then I'm just going to be doing the default. And now I'm going to load my tools and materials. I'm using the Smart Iron-On. I also have my mat here too. And there's a shiny side. That's what I'm going to be facing down. I have the iron on on the mat, shiny side down, and I have it mirrored. So now I'm just going to place this in my Cricut Joy Extra. It's going to make sure that it has enough space. And now I just click go. I'm going to click unload mat on my computer. So it unloads it. And just like that, I have custom names for my bags. So next I'm going to weed this out and then transfer it on top of the bag. First I'm going to have to weed this. So I'm going to trim this down first and also trim off their names so they're individual. I've made so many customized projects throughout the years. I love the iron on. I've made so many different like shirts. That's so fun to do too, is to make like custom shirts seasonally or if you're going on vacation. That's what I love the iron on for. Making custom t-shirts and things for those kind of uh, events or holidays. I've made so many different projects for the holidays too. I love, this is so handy for the holidays too. Make so many different projects. So there's Eden. That's the lettering that I'm going to, that's why you want to mirror it. So when I put it on the bag, it'll be this way. So now let me weed Tyler's. And here is Tyler's. Look how cute. So I have both of their names here. So next I'm going to attach it to the bags. So I think I'm actually going to put them on the bottom like that. I think that's cute. So I'm just going to center it eyeballing it using kind of my fist to measure that out just like that I think that's gonna look really cute and just like that I have a beautiful custom bag custom gift so I'm gonna put it on like this this is adorable so I'm gonna be using my Cricut heat press you can use an iron too I just have a pad underneath it and then I'm just grabbing an old sheet. This is an old pillowcase, just as a protective layer. Make sure it's on there. I always like to do the double check. My kids are gonna love these. And now I'm gonna take my heat press and press it down, make sure I have the temperature right, and then hit go. All right, let's take a look. Looking good.
so cute. It's adorable and she's gonna love that too. Let me know in the comments, what is one of your favorite projects that you've made that just has those great little memories on it too? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And since I have my heat press out, I'm just going to iron it really quick too. So it's the whole bag is nice and ironed. All right, that's Edith's bag. Let me do Tyler's. This turned out so cute. And again, another one of those custom personalized projects that I can make thanks to Cricut. And I would also like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So here are their bags. I love them. I love these custom bags. Now I'm gonna fill it with some Halloween goodies. They're teenagers. I remember when they were younger, I put books and all kinds of fun things in there. And now I'm just going to put, I got these blankets. They're so soft. And I thought they coordinate nicely too. So they always love throws, you know, especially Eden. She loves her throw blankets. So I'm going to actually take it out of here though and roll it up and put it in the bag. And just to make it a little bit nicer, I'm gonna take some ribbon and tie it around. So it just takes that store-bought blanket makes it look a little nicer so there's the one just taking it out of the packaging repackaging it looks a lot nicer that way and I love to do this not just for Halloween, but for like the Christmas season too, like at the beginning of December, get a cute little bag, nice Christmas throw, some goodies and make little bags for them too. So grab some tissue paper. And now put this in here. And then I got them some fun candies. Well, I got some glow sticks that I'll actually tuck right in there too. And then just some fall and Halloween treats that I'm just gonna put in there for them too. That they can enjoy for watching a fall movie. I thought these were cute too with the little pumpkin. I'm actually gonna stick that in here too. The cute little face. And now I have some really cute boo bags to give to the kids. So the darling boo bags are done for my kids. They're going to love it. I'm going to put these aside for them until I give them to them. But I'm also going to attach these super cute tags to them as well that you can download for free on my blog. I'll include a link for them in the description below. They come in two different sizes as well. I'm going to do the bigger ones, but there's also smaller ones too for little smally, smaller gifties. So let me cut these out. The tags are all cut out. I'm just using my little cutter here that I love. You can, of course, use scissors. You don't need to use a little thing like that. So I'm going to get my hole punch and punch a hole in it. I also use, or on these, watercolor paper, just so it's thicker, but cardstock works too. You can even use regular paper, but I recommend at least cardstock. Look it how cute these are. They are so cute. So now I'm going to attach these to the bag. So hopefully this will give you a little inspo to make some cute little boo bags to make for friends or family, to bless a neighbor with. Doesn't, you don't need to add a lot, just a simple blanket, little bag, customize it for them. It's so personal and personalized and I love doing it. And look how cute this tag looks on this bag. I love it so much. Super cute little boo gift bag.
What do you think? Don't you love your bag? Yeah. <laughs> Going right for the candies, huh? Yeah. Don't you love the cute bag to take trick-or-treating? Yeah, thank you, Mom. You're welcome, love. Here you go, Eve. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. Do you like your little bag? Yeah. Don't you love when I do those? Yeah. Thank Halloween, you. you're welcome, sweetheart. You like that bag? Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's got your name, so you never, you and Tyler will know whose candy is whose, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And you got your glow sticks for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, Ben. Next, I'm making pumpkin bread in a jar. You can get these darling tags for free on my blog. I'll include a link for them in the description below that you can attach to your jars. So I have my jar right here. And I'm going to begin by adding flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I'm gonna mix that together, then add my sugar. I'm gonna layer this up. So first, I'm gonna need my flour. I'm gonna need one and a half cups of flour. Added my flour. Now I'm going to add my baking powder. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of baking powder. along with a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm also going to add one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And I'm gonna mix this all together. You could also do this part in a bowl and then transfer it, but why dirty an extra bowl? <laughs> so I got that all mixed together and I'm going to gently tamp it down just so I have room to add up everything. Next, I'm gonna add my sugars. I'm going to add in a third of a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna tamp that down nice and gently. and then a cup of regular sugar. Tamp that down. And then I'm going to fill the rest with my favorite, these Hershey cinnamon chips. They're so good. Let me know if you've tried them before. But you could add nuts, you could add chocolate chips, you could add whatever, if you're making this for somebody you know they love chocolate chips or they love pecans or you know dried fruit, cranberries, but the cinnamon chips, they are so good. You could do a mixture of the cinnamon chips and nuts, you know, there's so many different things, but whatever you wanna do, the cinnamon chips are just really, really good. So I got those in there and that's it. So easy and delicious. Pop the top on like so. Actually, I think I'm gonna grab a little piece of fabric to put on top of this too. So I have my torn square. Just gonna pop that on top of there. Then add my lid. Trim off any little extra stringies. But I just love that torn, torn look. So here is the gift in a jar. So cute. They're just gonna need some pumpkin puree, some eggs and oil. So one of those things that they can keep in their pantry and with just a few simple ingredients, whip up a delicious loaf of pumpkin bread. You can even put this in the gift basket too, like the pumpkin puree or put it in a loaf pan too. And then here are the gift tags that have the instructions of what they're gonna need and the directions to make this. So I'm just gonna cut one of these out. So I have my tag cut out. You could also use sticker paper to print these and then just stick it right on the jar too, which would be really cute. I'm just gonna make a little hole in my tag. Attach the tag with some twine. That excess twine. Look at how cute. This is pumpkin bread in a jar. A really cute way to get this is to start with a loaf pan. Add in some paper shred. I love some paper shred. Now you could actually add some tissue underneath that too, but these aren't that big. And then add the pumpkin bread. 
like so. And then add in a can of pumpkin puree, like so. And then always a cute little towel, a tea towel is always cute. And then you could put it in a little gift bag. I love the clear basket bags. My family always knows when I'm working on little gifties because they find paper shred all over the place. I love paper shred. So I just tucked it in, added this. I saw really cute uh, cans of pumpkin puree this year at Aldi. I just like the little, I think it has like a cute check on it. But I have just this one right now. Added the little towel and a cute little loaf pan. Just a fun little way to gift this. And then, then of course you can get one of those clear basket bags and wrap it up like that and add a bow too if you want. But I just wanted to give you an idea if you want to give a full little gifty like this. Such a cute fall hostess gift too. Again, you can get these labels, the tags on my blog for free. I'll include a link for them in the description below. Also includes the recipe so you can make this bread too. Uh, it makes two loaves. It's so good, and I hope you like this. Next, I'm whipping up pumpkin spice hot chocolate, perfect for a chilly fall day. This is so easy to whip up, perfect for gift giving, or even to make for yourself too. So I'm gonna start with some non-fat powdered milk just like this you can get it at all the grocery stores this is the one that i'm using two cups of this so i just like to measure it out usually one envelope is a cup so two envelopes then i'm going to need two cups of confectioner sugar Then I'm going to use one cup of baking cocoa, the unsweetened cocoa. And to make this pumpkin spice hot cocoa, I'm using pumpkin spice. I'm just mixing it up with my whisk, but sometimes I do put this in like a food processor and pulse it to really give it a good mix too. So if you find that it is a little clumpy, I do recommend putting it in a food processor if you have one just to break up those clumps and just pulse it a few times, really makes it a nice granulated hot cocoa too. And here is a nice big batch of pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Before I make my little gifties, I'm also gonna make myself a cup of this too. So it's just two to three spoonfuls. I like to do heaping. Milk is recommended, but you could do water. I actually do a little bit of milk and then a splash of heavy cream if I have it too. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. You can add whipped cream, all the yummy toppings, marshmallows. It is so good. This is basically my big batch hot cocoa mix that I make all the time. Just spiced up with some pumpkin pie spice. It is so creamy and delicious. I love that little hint of pumpkin spice. Perfect for a chilly fall day. So I'm gonna enjoy that while I whip up some little gifties. I love these pumpkin jars from Dollar Tree. They're perfect for gift in a jars, especially this one. So if you can find them, grab those for cute gift in a jars. They also have these too. And for individual gifts, look at how cute these are also from Dollar Tree. So for this one, you're just gonna grab a little treat bag like this. You can get them at the craft store anywhere, even Dollar Tree. And then, you can just put it in there and then fill it up with some of the hot cocoa. And then I'm gonna cut one of the smaller tags. So I have my tag, my hole punch. take a piece of my torn fabric again and 
And look how cute this is. If you want to just give a little gifty to bless somebody with or, you know, whatever the occasion is, this is such a cute idea for small little gifties. Now let me do one in the pumpkin jar too. Pretty much the same thing for the pumpkin jar. I'm just going to add the mixture. You could even add some marshmallows in it too. Look how cute. But again, you can even do some marshmallows as well. Add the lid. Now let me add a tag. Same thing as before, just taking some of this fabric. You could do ribbon. You do you. But I just, I don't know, there's something about the fabric, the torn fabric, especially that just makes it look so folly. And you could even put this in, in a gift basket with some mugs too, some other cookies and things like that too, if you really want to add this to a larger basket. And here is the pumpkin spice hot cocoa in a jar. Next, I'm making Tic Tac Boo Boards. How cute for kids and your grandkids. Look at how cute. So I have this printable that you can get for free on my blog. I'll link it below. You're just gonna cut it out. And then I have some yummy fall treats that I'm gonna pop in the bag. I have my boards cut out. Definitely wanna use cardstock. I'm using my watercolor paper. You know, something nice and sturdy. If you wanna use paper, of course, that's fine too. Then I have these little treat bags. So I'm going to pop in one into my little treat bag. Just fun for anybody. I love tic-tac-toe too. And then I have these little pumpkins and these candy corn. But of course you can use whatever you want that are going to be your little X's and O's. You have candy corn and pumpkins. And I'm not going to just add, you know, a few to each. I'm going to add enough because you can't just have enough to play the game. You have to have a few to enjoy too. So I'm gonna add some pumpkins. So that you can obviously see the cute little card. And then I'm just gonna use some ribbon, this time actually using ribbon and not fabric to tie these bags up. Be warned, when you have these in front of you, it's hard to not eat. <laughs> Anyways, here are the really cute Tic Tac Boo Bags. Such a cute little thoughtful gifty for kids or adults for Halloween. And last up for today's video, I'm gonna be making pumpkin poop jars. So I have these cute little tags. Again, you can download these for free on the blog. And again, another one of these really cute pumpkin jars from Dollar Tree, but you can use these little baggies too if you wanna make little individual size bags. But how cute in this. Then I have some cheese balls and look at it's even festive too. These are from Target, but cheese balls are cheese balls. I'm just gonna fill this up with some cheese balls add a tag and just like that I have a really cute gifty and the other thing is if you just want to give this whole entire container as a gift then you can just attach the tag to that or you can get lots of gifties from these cheese balls and here is the cute pumpkin poop with the cute little tag and then of course I had to add some of that fabric torn fabric too because it's just cute just a cute little thoughtful gifty um, just a little fall fun Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you had some fun too. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Mother Time. Check out my blog, which if you get these tags, you will at mothertime.com. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you click the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Lots more fun gift and a dry ideas coming up for fall and Christmas. 
Speaking of Christmas, I'll also include links to other Christmas gift in a jar videos in the description too. Thanks again for hanging out with me here today and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye guys.